Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is the first day of Graceland's official winter break. She is off of school for I think like two weeks. I'm not sure. Three days. <laughs> she says three days, but it's definitely more than three days. I'm about to take a shower because I am so crusty. I feel like I cannot move on with my day until I take a shower. So I'm gonna attempt to take one as fast as I can. When Patrick's like sleeping or he's not here, I will normally just take uh, Hazel into the shower or the bathroom with me. She doesn't like to take showers with me. She doesn't like the running water but I'll take her in there and I'll just like give her something to do, like sit on the floor, because that's really the only way I can take a shower and trust that she's not gonna get into something. I decided I'm gonna wear my new Christmas PJs today. Today's the 22nd. I'll just wash these before Christmas. The shirt fits, but if my belly grows anymore, it's gonna be popping out. I'm going for a chill, comfy vibe today. That's actually, the only thing I've been going for this entire pregnancy. I was gonna take them to the store and get some stuff for like cookies. We're gonna make cookies for Sienna. There's these cookies I found that I wanna make and then um, get some like last minute Christmas gifts because apparently I'm not done <laughs> getting Christmas gifts. I realized today. I don't have the energy for that, so I'm probably gonna do like a target pickup or something. So a couple of vlogs back, I had showed you guys that we got Hazel a new bed. It was in the boxes. We hadn't put it together yet. We finally got it all put together um, like I think two weeks ago at this point and she has been sleeping in her bed for two weeks it's been going really good the transition from well it was a crib and then it was our bed for like uh two months we fell into this bad habit of having her in our bed just because i was desperate at night and i needed to sleep from our bed we had to transition her from again sleeping in her own room by herself in a big kid bed and it's gone pretty good. It's been like two weeks and she's been sleeping in her bed throughout the night. So great. Both of my kids now are sleeping through the night, which is so ironic because this little one's going to come <laughs> very soon and obviously not sleep through the night, which is expected out of a newborn. So we got little Miss Hazelbug, this adorable house bed. I am so in love with this bed. This was the biggest pain. You say bed? Bed? <laughs> this is the biggest pain in the butt to put together. The instructions were awful. I'm just, I'm not even gonna link this bed because of how awful it was to put together. I truly don't wanna put any of you guys through the pain with this bed, but it comes with these drawers down here. These slide open for extra storage. Obviously, so these just roll out under the bed and then we can also just like take them out if we don't want to use them because they're not on tracks or anything. They just are on <laughs> wheels. Did you get up there? Hazel's mattress that we got her, we wanted to make the transition as easy and comfy as possible for her. We actually got her the same mattress that we have, which is Noah Villa. I had mentioned them whenever we got our king size bed when we went from queen to king a little after we moved into our house so we've had our novilla mattress for over a year now and it's the best mattress ever i swear our bed is like the most comfortable bed i've ever slept in they use a certa pure us certified foam which is what is inside the bed their mattresses well this specific one this is the bliss mattress is the perfect combination of soft cloud-like but also it has a little bit of firmness too it's like the perfect mattress for patrick and i there is no harmful off gassing in substances and it actually has this bamboo cover right here which as you can see there is a zipper and you can zip this entire cover off and it is machine washable which is really nice so 
No more destroying mattresses, <laughs> getting them dirty. The mattress is compressed for easy shipping and setup. It comes in a nice, tall, thin, pretty lightweight box. Not difficult to carry into your house or setup at all. All you do is cut the top of the box, plop the mattress out, it's wrapped up, and then you just go ahead and carefully cut the plastic off of the mattress, and then you can sit back and watch your mattress rise and fluff up. It is suitable for side, back, and stomach sleepers. It fits on all bed frames. They have all different sizes for whatever size frame that you have, and also they have a 10-year warranty and a 30-day sleep trial where you can go ahead and test out the mattress, see if you like it, and if you don't like it, you can send it back and get a full refund, which is great because I know some people can be very picky and specific about mattresses. At this point in my life, I probably am too because I've been introduced to the best mattress and if I ever were to try something different, I'd probably be so picky because I need exactly what comes with this mattress. Like I said, Hazel's been sleeping so well. I think a huge part of it is because we got her a duplicate of the one that we have just well, in the twin yeah. size. We got her a twin size bed. I didn't want to do taller because they just grow out of those so fast. And unfortunately her room isn't big enough for a full. I would have loved to get her a full because if you're going to spend the money, you might as well spend the money on something that's going to last them until they leave the house when they are adults. But a twin will have to do for now. So we just got her the exact same yeah. mattress, which is the yeah. Bliss to mimic me, me, our mattress me, in our bedroom that she had been sleeping on so well for like the past couple months. I do have a code for you guys if you are in the market for a new mattress. I'm doing a voiceover because the coupon code change that I had for you guys to use, but you can use my coupon code on their site to get 12% off. The code is Olivia. And then also they have a New Year's sale going on right now for 20% off and you can stack those coupons together. So you can get a total of 32% off on their site. If you are looking for a new mattress or any other, you know, like bedding, accessories so i will have all of the info for novella down below and thank you so much to them for sending hazel this new mattress and also for sending us ours a year ago seriously we've been getting the best sleep that we've ever gotten before in our entire life i'm not even joking but i just stripped hazel's bed i ordered a comforter set for her like a bedding set it has just been back ordered and it's been taking so long to get in. So I think that it's supposed to come in the mail either today or tomorrow. So I'm just washing like her sheets and her blanket and pillow cases and stuff like that. So that once that does come in, um, it'll be ready to go. I was not a fan of the rug I had bought when I was pregnant with her. If you guys remember, it was like blue and tan. I just didn't like that one anymore. And I wanted something a little more comfy. So I found this super fluffy one from Ollie's actually. I think it was like $50 for this five by seven. It fits perfectly right between her dresser and her bed. Her room is not that big, so it didn't need that big of a rug. Just this cute pattern. There is a toothbrush on the ground right there. <laughs> That's just a slide with the toddler for you. I think it goes really well. I'm excited to get her bedding set as well. So I got an ultrasound done yesterday and look at this picture. Oh my goodness. This is like one of the best. It probably is the best ultrasound picture I've ever gotten of one of my kids. And then there's also this one as well that they got. The other one was a little bit better just because of like the angle that it was ahead. But oh my goodness, look at how cute. It's crazy because when you get an ultrasound picture and you see like what they kind of look like, you start to kind of picture in your head like what they might look like. But then when they're born, I feel like they just look completely different. But then if you go back after they're born and they're a couple months old and you look back at the ultrasound picture, you can see how much that actually does look like them and how much that resembles them. Like whenever I go and look at either of the girls' ultrasound pictures from when I was pregnant with them, I can tell like which one it was without even having to look at the date or anything like that. Just know because of their features and everything, but I feel like right now looking at that picture of her, that was the first time that we ever got to see like what she kind of looks like because any other time I was either really early, I had like a picture done like that 
when I was like 11 weeks and she was just like a little tiny, you know, peanut looking baby. She wasn't fully formed, but now she's just like basically fully grown, like all her features. And I just see so much of Graceland and Hazel in her. And it also just feels so much more like real now. I don't know. I'm nine months pregnant and I, it still doesn't feel real. I feel like, I feel like this every time. This is my third baby and I'm still like, wait, I'm like actually gonna have a baby. It doesn't like feel real to me until they're born and they're on my chest and I can see them and they're like in the world and breathing and I don't know. It's such a weird, such a weird thing. The ultrasound went good. She is head down which was great because i was a little worried if you guys remember i talked about how i felt really big movements and i was a little worried that she had flipped herself but i guess those movements were her flipping herself um head down the way she's like positioned is like she's head down and then her back comes up this way her feet are over here and also like her hands are wherever the heck she wants to put them but it's so funny seeing on ultrasound how she was positioned because it makes sense with all the movement I feel. Like I feel so much jabbing in my ribs right over on this side, which that's exactly where her feet are. So it makes sense, um, all those movements that I feel and the pressure that I'm feeling. Her head is definitely all the way down there ready to go. She was estimating to weigh six pounds, but she actually weighs a little bit more than like the average for the week I'm at. So that's just interesting. Both of my girls weighed over eight pounds at birth. So it is a few days later. Today is Christmas Eve, actually. Oh my gosh, there's a giant <laughs> pile of dog poop on the ground. But yesterday we celebrated Christmas with Patrick's family, his dad and sister or siblings, I guess. Today we were supposed to celebrate with my family but there's too many people that are sick in my family so my family's christmas is postponed it's a really nice day today it's like 55 degrees in ohio super nice there's no sun but still it's been pretty cold here so we just brought the girls to the park for something to do this much in like weeks just because I've been having so much pain and contractions like I said <laughs> I am straight up waddling right now I don't think I've mentioned this but I've been having a lightning crotch I think is what it's called and then I also have a mixture of like the baby moving and it feels like actually feels like this is the only way I can describe it like she's scraping my cervix with her literal fingernails so I have like that lightning crotch, that really sharp shooting pain, and you never know when they're gonna come. They just happen. And then also her moving, it feels like she's scraping, plus contractions. I've had like three walking back to the car now. <sighs> We're getting there.
me a tax receipt? Uh, no. Thank you. Right. Dropped the fam bam off at home. I just donated a bunch of crap. I went through the playroom the other day and I decluttered and just got rid of some stuff they don't play with and I always try and have my girls get rid of one or two things that they don't play with anymore to give to another kid in need you know I did just drop off at Goodwill that is like the closest donation center to me but I I don't really like donating to Goodwill if you guys can let me know a better place to donate I do donate often like I often declutter my house and get rid of things i'm not one to hold on to things and if i feel like somebody else can use it more than i can then i i just donate it i get rid of it so i just want to find a better place even if i have to drive a little bit i didn't want to today obviously because it's christmas eve and i don't want to be gone too long from my family but just in general what other options there are because all i've really ever known is goodwill to take the stuff to goodwill but i feel like there's better there's better um, alternatives out there. I'm gonna go to my mom's now to pick up a cake mixer. I let her borrow my cake mixer a really long time ago and I don't think I ever got it back from her. And we're gonna make some cookies for Santa in a little bit here. So I just wanna get that to make the process easier. And mommy is trying to... Find the recipe. No. We're about to make our cookies for Santa. Well, guess what I found? Rugs. Rugs? <laughs> no, these are pillowcases. My mom, I when I stopped at my mom, she gave me these pillowcases. She ordered like too many of them. These cute little Christmas ones. Yeah. Or so, I'll probably just looks. put these on the chairs in the front. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. Those are the cookies we're going to make. Yeah. Seeing the cookies. And these are the ingredients. One box of white cake mix. Two large egg whites. Can you get two eggs out of the fridge? Yep. We need some, some flour, some vegetable oil. I had to buy a brand new thing because we do not have vegetable oil in our house. And then either chocolate or white chocolate chips. I was gonna say chocolate chips. You get two eggs? Yep. Thank you so much. They didn't have holiday sprinkles at Target, so I just got regular. Sprinkles. I've been wanting to get a designated plate and cup for Santa. Cookies for Santa. And then a cute little jar milk for Santa. You want to show them your water bottle? Yeah. So this water bottle is easy to twist. It's very easy. Did you got this from? Who gave that to you for Christmas? What, honey? Stephanie. Yes, Aunt Stephanie got that for you yesterday. You got it. You put it on perfect. Let me see. No. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Here is the cookies. Not how I was expecting them to turn out, but it's okay. I'm gonna try one, see how they taste. Mm, they're still really good. Oh, they're actually really yummy. Santa's gonna be eating good. What's the first thing that we have to do before Santa comes? Get the key, get the food, get the milk, get the cookies. cookies. <laughs> we already got that okay. checklist. This is Santa's special key to get into our house since we don't have a chimney. So, because I found it in the box when me and mommy were decorating in the house. Yeah, we hang it outside every year so that he can get in. Okay, let's do it. All right. Oh, wait, we have to bring our reindeer food. I have it ready. They like to eat nuts. I think we're going to put the key right on the tree. You think he'll see it? Or you want to hang it on that Christmas tree? Maybe he'll see it right there. Or on the door, you could just put it on the handle. He'll for sure see it there. If he comes to our front door. 
here's yours and here's mine. Okay. All right, let's do it. Where do you think they'll see it? Driveway. <laughs> really quick. Ready, 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 go, 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 go. Uh, yeah. oh. Now we have to figure out where Santa is in the world. He's in Iceland right now. He's flying over the water. It says he's delivered four billion gifts. That's what I said. said the kitchen was really easy I put together the Barbie dream house that was just like clicking in pieces of plastic it wasn't difficult at all it's just tedious putting all the furniture and the little pieces in there Santa stopped by our house we got all the rest of the presents out from us their stockings are filled so I'm really excited for the morning but now I need to get some sleep because I know that Grayson's going to be waking up super early because <laughs> she's very excited. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.